Hello everyone. This session is in continuation with the previous part where we discussed about the basic concepts of design by analysis. In this session, we will understand in detail how these concepts are implemented in a design code. For the purpose of this discussion, we will be covering procedures adopted by ASME Section 8 Division 2, which is one of the most widely used international code for design by analysis of pressure components. The part 5 of ASME code provides a detailed description and guidelines for performing different types of analysis. There are four checks which are mandatory for each analysis case. The mandatory checks ensure protection against four modes of failure and these failure modes are First, failure by plastic collapse. Second, local failure check. Third, failure by buckling. And fourth, failure by cyclic load. For each of these checks, the code provides multiple alternative approaches to meet needs of different users. In this session, we will understand the procedures for conducting these mandatory checks with the help of illustrative examples of actual real-life analysis cases. Let's begin with the explanation about material properties needed for analysis which will be followed by information about the ASME mandatory checks for design by analysis. In any design by analysis procedure, one requires the material properties at the beginning out of the various material properties, the one which are required first are the physical properties and the strength parameters. Among these, the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio and the allowable stresses, these are the essential properties and these are obtained through the design code which one is using for the analysis. Apart from this, if you are doing uh, elastic plastic analysis, one would require a stress strain curve or for fatigue analysis, cyclic stress strain data, or if you are doing high temperature analysis, you require creep, anal creep data. There are many international codes for doing design by analysis. In this session, we are dealing with ASME Section 8 Division 2, which is the very popular and one of the oldest design codes for doing this type of analysis. This code covers design by rules that is design by formula approach as well as the design by analysis requirements which are given in the part 5 of this code and this is the focus of our session for design by analysis. You can note that apart from ASME there are other international codes such as the European code EN code which also give the design by analysis procedures however they are more or less on the similar lines as per the ASME code and once one understands the ASME procedure, it can be adopted for any other international code easily. If you look at the contents of ASME section 8 division 2 part 5, one would find that there are many requirements which are given in this particular code of which there are certain requirements or certain checks which are mandatory and our session will deal with those mandatory checks. These checks are as follows. Out of the different checks, the four checks which are essential is one is the plastic collapse check, local failure check, buckling failure check and the cyclic loading check. For each of these checks, there are different alternatives which are available. So for example, if you are doing plastic collapse check, one has the option of doing the elastic stress analysis or the limit load analysis or elastic plastic stress analysis. In the subsequent sessions, we will look into each of the major checks and see how to implement this for doing design by analysis with the help of an illustrating case. 